Dorolo here. Yes. Brothers and sisters in police don't have any problem with us. Yes. Listen, it is only the few, one family that is keeping us as slaves. Imagine, imagine a senior police officer like a Afande Martin Okot Ochola. Listen to me. He is the Inspector General of Police, but he has no power. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Nobody is going to tell you this because they fear to die, but I will tell you this. Afande Ochola does not want to kill people. But because He's given a young boy from a seven family who gives him the order. You know that, don't you know that? Don't you know that? That is why I want to tell you that we must save ourselves and one day, listen, one day all those police officers will join us. One day. One day all those soldiers will join us because they are our fathers, they are our mothers, they are our brothers, our sisters. We marry from their family, they marry from our family. They have children like us. They pay school fees like us. Their wives go to hospital and they die while giving birth like us. They work so many years in police promoted like us they are disrespected like us that is why we have to go to a new Uganda listen to me so my brothers and sisters my brothers and sisters I know they stopped me from telling this to so many people because they know listen listen because they know that if I tell so many people, if I tell so many young boys and girls here in Tororo, they will never be the same again. So, I want to ask all of you, those who have phones, record me now. Those who doesn't have a phone, record what I tell you in your head. I want you, listen. I want you to go to every ghetto. I want you to go to every club. I want you to go to every market. I want you to go to every village. And I want you to become Bobby Wine. Listen. Listen. This is a mission to freedom. I said, this is a mission to freedom. This is a mission to freedom. This is a mission to freedom. Listen to me. I don't come, even if I put on a tie, I don't come to you as a politician. Because I am not a politician. I come to you as a representative of the poor people. I come to you as a representative of the, of, of the common people. I come to you as a representative of the ghetto people. Listen to me. I know. I know many people here are younger than me. But... 35 years ago, Museveni and these rebels captured our country. I was only four years old. They killed our people. They stole our land. They stole our property. And since then, they made us slaves in our own. But we have a chance. One chance in a lifetime. All along, everybody that comes up to try and save this country, they call them rebels and they shoot them. 
they say they are inciting violence and they shoot them. That is why there was a woman called Alice Lafuena. That is why many people have come and they stopped them. They never knew that one day God will pick one person from the ghetto. Everybody has a new one day they will come about.